Hello, I'm Sushin, coming from University of Georgia, and my mentor was Alexander Bush, and we are coming from Computational Plant Science Lab. Today, I'm very excited to talk about our 3D root phenotyping system for improved carbon sequestration. And on the left side, you will see a maize root from the field. Our stories begin with this. In 2010, New York City added for 55 million megatron tons of carbon dioxide. But that number means little to most people because few of us have a sense of skill for atmosphere pollution. Here you can see the visualization of CO2 in New York City. In one day, one year, we can see that the volume was so huge with even one day's, one year's CO2 emission. Unfortunately, there are more cities like New York in the world. The world carbon emission map here clearly shows that the serious issue was happening right now in the world. Too much carbon in atmosphere is speeding up the process of climate change. It is causing so much trouble, such as overheating and ocean acidification. But do we still have hope? How to put the extra CO2 in the air back into the soil? The solution was just at our feet, the crop root system, which can help to reduce the CO2 in the air. You can see that in 2017, 91 million acres of corn in U.S. land already helped to assimilate reduced 850 million megatons of CO2 in air by using photosynthesis process. And also the carbon, soil carbon content can be increased by one gigaton per year with deeper root maize varieties. This was a very good news for us. The development of crop with deeper roots holds substantial permits to migrate the consequences of climate change due to CO2 emission. But the major bottleneck to achieve this improvement is the high throughout phenotyping of infield grown root system. So we try to build and develop an image-based 3D root phenotyping platform, and we call that DIRT3D. In here, it is the scheme map, map flow, workflow of the DIRT3D system. Our goal was to help plant scientists to choose better genotype and discover new gene-related root traits by using our 3D root phenotyping system in the field. You can see in here, we have the maize root in the field and we fit them into the 3D scanner prototype and we build 3D root models online and we can measure the 3D root models by tracking individual root trees. We can get 16 root trees from the root system. And in here on the right side, I'm showing the six representative examples of, of all the 16 root trees. It is very important and it is impossible to measure the wall distance and the number of bridge roots and crown roots using only 2D image system. So here I'm showing the comparison with real roots and our computed 3D root models. You can see that our our system was able to compute the 3D root models and the challenge here is the multiple layers of occlusion in a complex root system and the limited number of images we got from our 3D root scanner. You can see that the inner part of the root system and the real one was very, very similar. It is successfully reconstructed by our method. Given that such a detailed 
3D root model, we can also compute the root topological structure as shown here in this animation. We can see that the 3D root structure was successfully extracted from the root system. You might ask this root structure compared to the real one was the simple one that is true. We increased the image resolution and 3D model resolution. We can also extract detailed root structure like this. And also we can extract, compute the wall locations and distance from the root structure. This gave us the capacity and ability to measure the such complex root maze root system in the field. We validated our dirt 3D and 3D root phenotyping system on a test panel of 12 contrasting maze genotypes. In here, I showed you the representative of 12 samples from the 100 maze root. This 100, these 12 samples with different genotype and their computed root structures are shown here in this column. We're showing that the original root image captured by our 3D root scanner. In this column, I'm going to show you the 3D root models generated by our algorithm. And this is the root structure computed by our system. We can compare them, compare them. It is very detailed structure and measurement of the root system in the field. And here is the root uh, the genotype. You can see in here all the varieties of the maze root in the field. It is not easy to compute them only using 2D image technique and or CT scanning because CT scanning will cost you so much and so long time in the field. With our proposed DIRT 3D or 3D root phenotyping system, we are able to propose a whole root descriptor, which was the means of the 16 trees, to categorize a complete root architecture in one mathematical function. This figure shows that with a level set depth, level set depth and normalized root system area. This curve can successfully capture all the genotype difference in a statistical way. We can see that all the curves are distinguished with each other, which represent different genotype. And this means our 3D root descriptor has ability to distinguish the unique spatial arrangement of individual roots for all genotypes. It is an interesting finding. And another discovery in here was the 3D trees are highly heritable and suggest a strong genetic basis. Phenotypes are the vary between the individuals in a population because of both environmental factors and the genes that influence trees. We computed broad sense heritability for all 3D traits. The result in here shows in the cluster column map and most traits suggesting a very strong, in here we can read the number, it is very strong genetic basis to explain our observed phenotypic variations with broad sense heritability, the value above 0.7. So this indicates that the trait extracted by our system can be used to distinguish different genotypes. That is very useful. So to summarize my talk, our 3D root phenotyping system was built to improve carbon sequestration and put back the actual CO2 from the air back into the soil and which also help plant scientists to select best genotypes from in a field and 
by mirroring the infield root system and fight back, fight against climate change and increase soil carbon quality. Therefore, we believe our dirt three D is a step towards automatic quantification of highly occluded maize root system in the field, and it will support breeders and root biologists to put extra CO two in it, into the soil. Finally, I want to thank our team, which are in the computational plant science lab in University of Georgia. And I want to thank our funding support, RPE and NSF career. And here is the link and GitHub of our lab. And here is the QR code. You are welcome to scan that and get in touch with us. And thank you for listening.